Good morning, Jesus Image family. Welcome. We are so happy you're here joining us. I'm so excited to worship the Lord with all of you. I just wanted to read a scripture to you guys. And this is um, Psalm 95, verse 3 says, For the Lord is a great God, a great King above all gods. The depths of the earth are in His hand, and the mountain peaks are His. The sea is His. He made it. His hands form the dry land. Come, let's worship and bow down. Let's kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, the sheep under His care. We're so excited to enter into the presence of God with you all. I pray you feel the presence of the Lord where you're at. You can sense how near He is, how much He loves you, and it's going to be a wonderful time together. Yeah, I felt that when you just said that, come, come wherever you are this morning, just come into his presence, lay it all down at his feet. He is so near, he is so present, and he just wants you to just welcome, welcome him in your room, in your car, wherever you're joining us from. He is, yeah, he is the present God, Emmanuel, God with us. If you guys want to submit your prayer requests, we would love to pray over them this morning. You can text, there's there's a prompt that will be on your screen all throughout worship, and we're going to come back together. We're going to believe uh, with you and partner with you in prayer and what you're believing the Lord for. But let's pray before we go into worship. Lord, we love you. Jesus, you are everything to us. And we just want to come. We just want to come this morning. Come in our weariness. Come in our brokenness, Lord. Come as we are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your word says that you draw near to us when we draw near to you. So we magnify you this morning. We lift you high, King Jesus. Will you feel so loved and so welcome and so worshiped by us? Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We lift you up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll see you back soon. Talk the
just begin to thank him for the cross. Lord, we thank you for the cross. We thank you that it is finished and it is done. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your cross.
Come and give him praise. 
Right. 
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for just sending in your prayer requests. We're just wanting to believe with you guys this morning, whatever, whatever you're praying for, whether it be somebody that you're believing for to come and know Jesus rightly, to choose for their salvation, to choose him. If it's healing in your body, uh, if it's financial breakthrough, whatever it is, we want to just pray with you guys this morning. So wherever you're watching from, if you guys want to just join with us, contend with us, um, and just, yeah, be partnering with us as we pray this morning, um, whatever the Lord is just putting on our hearts. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, he's, he's the healing God. And I just want to pray for healings this morning, wherever you are, if there's a healing that you're believing for, to just trust the healer this morning and believe him, believe him at his word, that that he, he bore it all upon that cross for you. So let's pray together. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are our healer, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Thank you, Lord, that that you bore that you bore everything upon that cross, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are healed, we are whole. Thank you, Lord, for every lash you took at the whipping post. I just pray, Lord, for for uh, anyone who has chronic migraines. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your healing, Lord. We just curse those migraines and we say no more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for whom the sun sets free is free indeed, Lord, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Lord, I just pray for, for anyone who, who is having trouble sleeping. Lord, anyone who um, is experiencing insomnia or just can't cannot relax, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that your word says that you give your beloved rest, and we just believe for that in Jesus' name for for full night's sleep, for complete rest in their body, rest in their mind. Thank you, Lord, and we just pray right now for for um, any anyone believing for a family member, a friend, Lord, who not, does not yet know you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for their salvation, Lord. We just bind them to the cross. Lord, we just say that your will be done in their lives in Jesus name, Lord, that they will choose you, choose you and see you rightly and choose you for themselves, God. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for um, just every single, every single person that's, that's watching right now, God, wherever they are all around the world, Lord, that they feel your presence, Lord, that they feel your nearness, Lord, that your nearness, that you are Emmanuel, God with us, right there with them, whatever they're feeling, whatever they're experiencing, God, that you're so present. You're the ever-present one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And Lord, I just thank you for each and every person that was watching God. I pray you would bless them, that you would bless their families, Jesus. And I want to read a scripture um, over you guys. And it's Ephesians 3.16 through 19 or through 20 says, I pray that he may grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power in your inner being through his spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and firmly established in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the length and width, height and depth of God's love, and to know Christ's love that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. So, Father, I just pray just for a revelation of your love, God. Jesus, you bled and died on the cross for each and every person. I pray that would become so real to them, that they would have such an assurance that they are yours. Just as we read earlier, they are your sheep, the sheep of your pasture. You are our God. You are our Father. And so, Jesus, I I thank you for this, and and I pray that you would give them each wisdom, I I really believe some of you are really going to receive just divine wisdom. Some of you have been asking for wisdom, and Jesus said, ask for wisdom, and he would graciously give it to you. And Lord, just as Bethany said, we agree with every healing that needs to take place. God, you know all the needs, Uh, the needs for finances, Lord. Um, Some of you have been believing for finances. And God, I pray that you would provide. You are a provider, Jesus. It all comes from your hand. So we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're going to give together as a family this morning to the Lord or afternoon, wherever, whatever time it is where you're at. There's going to be a prompt on your screen. I just want to read this. This is something that, that Jesus says in Luke 6, 38. He says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. And we just are believing with you this morning, I, as he was even praying for financial breakthroughs in your life, that that he is the God of breakthrough and and that that you will just give into his hands without fear of the future, of lack, of anything, that he is he is the God who who gives, who gives of everything of himself and and we want to be like him and we want to be givers like him. So continue in worship with that same heart of of giving to the Lord because it is all worship unto him. Yeah, Jesus, we just thank you for every hand that's giving, every single heart that's stirred, Lord, by your presence, by your nearness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your word, your word says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. We believe you at your word. Make us cheerful givers, God with no hesitancy that we will give and give and give because you're worth it, you're worthy, and you're the, you're the giver of everything. And we want to look like you in every way. And that includes in our finances. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you all for joining us. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next time. God Bye. bless.